Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my 2024 VCT awards predictions. I'm going to be going through all of my awards for this year. MVP, Coach of the Year, Rookie of the Year, Most Improved, MVPs for each region, and an all-pro team, so like one player from each role. Um, and just going through predicting who is going to win those awards this year. Um, I'll be coming back to this at the end of the year just like I did um, in 2023. I mean, I didn't. I don't think I did award predictions last year, but... I, I gave out awards and I'm going to be going back and um, reviewing these at the end of the year, giving who I actually think won the award for the year. Um, but yeah, these are going to be my predictions, who I think is going to win each one. Um, I'll go through a little bit of the parameters for each award just because maybe my definitions of each one are a little bit different than yours. So I'll be going through my thought process on each one. And yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So we're going to start here with my MVP um demon one now my thought process here was give it to the player that i think will be the best so the best player on the best team right the hardest part of this award was picking who i think the best team will be it was either demon one or i was going to pick one of leo or alfier from Fnatic. um it was really splitting hairs honestly i don't know who's going to be the best team Again, that was the hardest part, but I think it's pretty simple if you just pick one of the teams and be like, okay, they're going to be the best consistently the year, the whole year round. I think Energy makes Madrid. I think they do very well at Madrid, if not win it. I would favor Fnatic to win Madrid. I think as it gets later into the year, I think Energy will be better uh, than they are at the start of the year. So I'm not exactly sure how the year is going to go for each team, but... Personally, I think energy is going to be that slight bit better and going to be better towards the end of the year. So, and champs is just weighted more in general for people. So I think my prediction will be demon one for my 2024 MVP. Now that could be a hot take that energy is going to be the best team. I know a lot of people are lower on energy because they quote unquote, don't have an IGL, even though Ethan is very experienced in CS and in Valorant. And everything but i'm not going to get into why i think energy could be the best team because i think it's pretty self-explanatory but um yeah that's why i have demon one just because best player on the best team could easily be leo or alfier but personally i give it to demon one next up we have my coach of the year which is going to go to hey um loud's coach um this to me is going to be the coach with either the most surprising result or like, who does the most with the least? Um, and overall, I know Loud's roster is good. They have like Kaunzin, Les, Sadak. They have a lot already. Um, I'm not going to deny that. But being able to work through losing Aspas, um, having to develop QCK as a duelist, maybe work out some role stuff with him in twoies, um, and overall just like figure out the problem of losing Aspas. Um, I know he, I think he was a content creator or a caster. I don't know a ton about the man himself, but the fact that Sadak selected him, I do have a good amount of confidence in that. And overall, um, I don't know. I just have a lot of confidence in this team that they'll kind of surprise because a lot of people are putting them like C, B tier in a lot of tier lists, maybe A, like the occasional one. I had them in like, the second tier, um, like not the top tier, but the one below that. So basically I had them A, but I had them a lot higher than most people. Um, yeah, I don't think losing Aspas is going to be as much of a problem as people think. And I think you got to give a lot of credit to the coach in that scenario. So that is why I picked Payu, um, or however you pronounce it. And yeah. And now we have my rookie of the year, which I mean, could have gone to many, many, many players. Um, I'll list through some of the guys that just made the cut or just didn't make the cut. I think Oxy Havoc could have years similar, um, of similar caliber, um, runner from EMEA, um, e along with kicks, even, um, some of the gentle mates guys as well. Um, the two Zeta rookies, Excurate, Flashback, um, Jemkin, all guys like that, even Karen, um, I think all players that could win this award. 
but I'm going to give this to Yedige, um, who was just absurd, specifically at this Red Bull tournament, but in all the tournaments that uh, Foot played in the offseason, I thought he was super impressive. Um, and yeah, I just, I think he's going to be one of the best Sentinels in the world. Um, he's also going to be on a winning team. In my opinion, I think Foot's going to be one of the best teams in EMEA. So I think he's going to get more attention because of that. And yeah. Overall, I think this could end up just being somebody who uh, gets like picked up in the middle of the year. Like this award, not Yedige. Uh, but I think I'm going to pick him. Obviously, I'm not going to predict something like a roster move happening in the future for this award. But like rounds like this, just having the pure Sentinel like instincts that maybe alpha year doesn't have maybe even like sagetsu sometimes i don't think is a pure sentinel but i mean he is like i'd say he's under like less in nats at that but still some of the best in the world um and overall i just think the is going to be on a better team than most of these other guys and he's going to look a lot better because of that so that's why i have him as my rookie of the year so now we have my breakout player of the year. I'm going to keep it on the same VOD here. Um, this is, you can say, breakout player or um, most improved. I think most improved fits it better um, now that I'm actually talking it out um, and thinking about it. But CNET is going to be my pick here. Obviously, CNET's not going to have a breakout year because everybody already knows who CNET is. But I do think that he is going to have a revitalized year now in a better system for his needs. and just end up looking a lot better. Um, I think CNET is one of the best offers in the world, probably top three. Um, and to me in the off season, his raise and jet just entering in general looked a lot better. Um, so you'd love to see that for him. And I think he's just going to improve a lot this year on his performance last year and, or, and even the year before in the chamber meta where he wasn't as good. So overall, I just think you could see a lot of improvement from him. And again, he's in a good team environment with Yedige. Um, and yeah, just overall, I think he's going to have a much, much better year being able to play in a better system for him in a team that'll actually use his skill set correctly. And yeah, just overall end up looking better. So now we're going to go through my MVP at every region. Demon 1, I talked about him before for the actual MVP. I don't think there's anything needed to be said here other than that leo same thing i talked about him a little bit personally i think he's going to be a little bit over alpha here i had him as my overall mvp last year um so coming into this year i don't expect anything to really change for him um, just the best initiator player in the world i don't really expect too much to change because of how consistent he is i think for every tournament last year he was in the mvp running maybe except for champs but he was easily fanatic's best player at that event um, maybe not easily. I thought Alfier was also very good. Um, but between those two players, again, at Champs, then at Tokyo, it was between him and Alpha, and then at Lock, and I think it was just him. It may be between him and Durka, but I think it was mainly just him. In terms of Fnatic players, obviously there were some other players in the running, like Demon1 at Champs, or Aspas at Lock, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I just expect him to take that consistency into this year, and be the EMEA MVP. Then for Pacific, I have Forsaken. Um, it was between him, between him and something. I think they're both going to be the best player on the best team in Pacific, or they both could be the best player on the best team. Um, I don't really think any other team is going to challenge Paper X. Obviously, I had them going out in groups for the kickoff, but I think their overall year is going to be fine. And yeah, I think Forsaken's going to be the lead of that. And then China, I wasn't going to do too many awards on this, but I mean... I don't think anybody's going to disagree with this, um, even the hardcore Chinese fans. I think Kang Kang will be the China, Chinese MVP. Again, not much to say there. Probably the best opera in the world. He's at least top three um, at the very worst. And yeah, just the face of Chinese Valor, pretty much. Um, not too much to say there. So we're bringing back the Demon 1 VLR page because we're going to go through my team of the year. So for my duelist of the year, Again, for all of the same reasons, I have Demon 1. For my Flex of the Year, Forsaken, again, for all the same reasons. 
and my initiate of the year, Leo, for all the same reasons. Obviously, that got really repetitive. Now we'll get to some new players with my Smokes player of the year. It's going to be Marv, kind of leaning into that energy being the best team. Um, it was kind of between pretty much him and Mako. I don't think anybody else is really in the running for best Smokes player in the world. And yeah, I think it's just going to be Marv this year. And then for Sentinel, I picked less personally. I just think he's going to be ever so slightly better than Alfier, as he's been in my opinion. It's really neck and neck with those two, but I think Les is slightly ahead right now. I think you could also sneak in maybe a Bustio or a Sagetsu or a Nats, even a Yedige I considered. Um, but part of, part of the Yedige thing is I already did him, and I already had enough repeating uh, players, so I ended up going with Les. Um, and yeah, I think I just think he's the best Sentinel in the world right now, and I think he'll continue his consistency. I even thought he was probably their best player at Tokyo when they crashed out easily. Um, and yeah, I just think he's incredible. Um, not a ton to say there. Not a ton else to say there. Obviously. And then for my IGL of the year, just I, I know this is six players, um, but I'm just going to pick an IGL just because I felt like I should not leave an IGL out. Um, so I picked Sadak. I just think he's going to, again, kind of with the coach of the year thing, do the most of the least. Um, obviously, some other guys you have... Probably John Cutie. I think he's really in the running for everything he's done with Sentinels in the offseason. If they continue that, he could be there. Um, Boaster, obviously, is always in contention, but I think he's not really doing the most with the least. Um, he's doing the most with the most. Um, like, he has the best team around him in the world, and it's not really that close. Um, I considered Ethan, but... We don't know exactly how good his calling is going to be. I think it'll be pretty good. Um, that could have been a, kind of a hot take pick. Um, but again, he has a lot of very good players around him, so it's not like he's doing the most with the least there. And then the only other guy I considered even a little bit... I mean, actually, there's two guys. I think King and Valen are kind of in the conversation, but again, not really doing the most with the least. That is why I have Sadak here. Um, and yeah, that's going to be the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know who you would pick for every award. I had MVP. Um, let me pull the Google Doc up on my second monitor. I had MVP, Coach of the Year, Rookie of the Year, Most Improved Player. Um, and that, that can just be from last year, the year before, or anything combined. Mainly last year, though, we'll say. Um, your Americas, EMEA, Pacific, and Chinese MVP. Um, and then your all-pro team, whether it be your duelist, flex, initiator, sentinel, smokes. And if you want one of them, one of those to be your IGL, you can do that. If not, you can just add another IGL in. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Uh, go follow me on Twitter. I'll be live tweeting kickoff and everything. Um, and yeah, this might be my last video before kickoff. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then after kickoff with like my recap, everything like that. And preview for Madrid. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace.